The Queen Charge Hybrid is one of the best Town Hall 13 attack strategies you can use for 3 stars, and today let's explain everything from base identification all the way into how you can use this attack strategy and more. What's going on my friends, my name's Corrupt. Let's first start by teaching you the base identification and how to build your army. So when choosing a spot for your Queen Charge, it all comes down to three different factors. First, you wanna see if you are able to protect your Queen and her healers. So in this case, in this particular base, if you were to go in for the Town Hall, there is a lot of DPS surrounding it from the enemy CC, Scattershot, Ground Expo, and Cannon and Archer Tower, along with dealing with the Royal Champion. Can you lure out the CC from that spot? And in this case, you are indeed able to lure out the enemy CC. So with two of those, you can actually use a Queen Charge here. But the third one does also apply. Can you get a funnel set on that same side? That is going to dictate whether or not this is a good area. So creating the funnel here allows the attacker to use a funnel on the other side with the siege barrack, and that also allows you to then send everything through with the use of the hybrid. That is how you want to think about using the queen charge. Sometimes you may even go across bases to where you wouldn't want to send your hybrid in for the town hall. Here's a good example of where the enemy CC is very far away from where you would want a queen charge into. So instead, you would want to go in towards an area like the Scattershot, the Eagle Artillery, and the Archer Queen, because this will allow you to already create a funnel here and still lure out the CC. This also gives you a funnel on one side of the base and the same thing on the other, so you have easy, predictable pathing for your hybrid. Base identification doesn't just extend to base reading alone. You've also got to learn how to build up your army. As an example to start this off, I always like to start with the use of five healers, then also bringing in the use of 15 miners, and then also 15 hog riders. I also usually bring in a couple super wall breakers in order to help that, and you then also want to think about the number of balloons you bring. In this case, I'm going to bring four. I think it's really important that you have enough. Now, in this case, you're already about 30 housing space out. So now you really got to think about creating the funnel. So I like to bring a Yeti, a baby dragon. All right, so I'm out of space now. So pretty much you're going to start removing some of them. I'm going to do 14 and 12. And I'm going to bring in a couple wizards. Kind of helps to create the funnel for with the Yeti and also for cleanup. And then let's also bring maybe a minion. And it looks like we might be able to bring an extra miner and that allows us to bring maybe a, another minion, and that is pretty much how you build a troop composition surrounding this attack. Now, in terms of spells, the best spell combination, without a doubt, is always going to be the same thing. You're always going to bring two heal, two rage, two freeze, and one poison. This is how you build your army composition. Now, in terms of your CC, I would always bring the Siege Barrack with the use of a Rage Spell and Hog Riders. However, if you want to bring the Battle Blimp, then bring the use of two Yetis, one Valkyrie, and one Barbarian with a Rage Spell. I'll be leaving the base composition of the Hybrid Army down in the description below so you guys can tweak the attack and also follow along in terms of the base reading and how to build your army. Now that you know base reading and how to build your army, let's go through how to start this attack. You want to start with the funneling for the Queen Charge. You're going to be using different troops like Yeti, Sneaky Goblins, Baby Dragons, even Wizards. So you want to make sure that you're using something like Sneaky Goblins and Yeti on one side and a couple sneaky goblins on the other to control exactly where your queen is going to go. The Yeti is a fantastic troop in case you are able to get rid of multiple defensive structures from the outside of the base. You can also use a baby dragon. It's the safest way to funnel your queen since the healers don't even go for air troops. 
Another thing is the Sneaky Goblin, like I mentioned. You're only going to need one of them versus collectors and two of them versus storages. This allows you to create enough of a funnel on resource buildings and it allows you to get your queen in a bit safer than you would having to use a baby dragon or a wizard in that same spot. Now, in terms of charging your queen in, you do have a couple things. You want to use a balloon to look for any seeking air mines. This is evident before you drop in your healers just like this, so you prevent your queen from having to use the ability. Sometimes, unfortunately, it might be too much damage and you would have to use that queen ability. But going in to deal with an enemy CC like this, you want to make sure that you use the poison spell to take care of them. In this case, witches were involved and witches are very weak to poison spells. So taking advantage of that is very important. Another thing that you do want to be very wary of is stuff like E-Drag CCs and Super Minion CCs. E-Drags are very easy, just rage up your queen and drop a poison spell on it and it'll slow it down just enough for you to absolutely get through it and it really won't get any shots at all. Now, this Super Minion CC is a different story. You will need to use the poison on it and a free spell, but make sure the Super Minions do not go on another thing and instead use them when they're locked onto the Queen. Keep them in that poison spell for longer. Now, you don't want to take all too much time on your Queen charge. You just want to make sure that she's going in the right direction. Sometimes it might even be worth using a headhunter in order to slow down the barbarian king and prevent him from doing all too much damage to your archer queen. Now there's going to be some times where the enemy CC scatter and the eagle artillery are going to be a bigger thing to get rid of because you can still lure out the enemy CC depending on where it is placed. You want to be able to get through a specific area which allows you to create the funnel. Getting some good value is something that you will want to do with every queen charge that you do, but with the hybrid, you want to mainly make sure that you're getting a funnel set and getting rid of key buildings that could actually pose a threat to your hybrid. While you charge your queen in, you've got the use of the Siege Barrack and the Barbarian King. You use a Barbarian King a bit further down to create the funnel, while the Siege Barrack is used to create this part of the funnel. This allows you to start driving your Miners and Hogs right into the middle part of the base. Once you create the funnel on one side of the base with the use of the Queen Charge, and you've done the same thing on the other side with the use of the Siege Barrack, you can start to send everything in, your hybrid portion, to go right the way into the base. And I also appreciate all the support that you guys are giving me on my video, if you are not yet subscribed, if you are part of the 81% who is not subscribed, consider subscribing to the channel and ringing the bell for more content like this. Now, in order to understand your Miner and Hog Rider deployment, you want to start with the use of your Miners, then your Hog Riders, Grand Warden, and Royal Champion. Now, the next thing to understand is spells. So, using stuff like the heal spells and free spells early on for stuff like scatter shots, and also to get through a particular area like a single inferno, multi inferno, bomb towers, etc., so you're able to continue to work your way through. As you get into the core, you may want to use the Grand Warden ability. This is very important, especially as you start to move your way towards the Eagle. If you don't go for the Eagle with the Queen Charge, that's your second thing to get rid of with the Hybrid. Get rid of the Eagle as quickly as you can. So you want to make sure that you're able to move your way to it. Now, you've also got some leftover spells after you do your hybrid, or while you're doing your hybrid, I should say. You've got heal spells that you're going to use on the back end side of the base. This allows you to protect them through stuff like wizard towers and also multi-target infernos. You may also use a rage spell during the back end part of the attack to make sure that you're able to power through the core of the base, and you could use it in conjunction with your warden ability. Now, the final spells that you're going to use is Freeze. Of course, you can use it early on on Scatter Shots, or you can actually use it on other Splash Buildings, or you can also use this against Point Defenses, Scatters, or Single Infernos to protect the Royal Champion. This gives you a lot of different things and unique things that you can do for the triple with this. But of course, it all comes down to really the timing of your spells and really when the, each of these spells are needed over others. Now that you understand step by step on how to use the army, let's give you a full blown replay. This is a treat for all of you guys who are sticking around all the way until the end of the video. 
Now let's start with the use of the baby dragons. This base was one I mentioned earlier in the video where you're attacking away from the town hall. So going in for something like the scattershot and ego artillery is by far one of the more important things. So creating the funnel is a good choice. You can bring the use of an ice golem to start off the tanking, but this is a good area where there might be a lot of DPS going in. So bringing the use of an ice golem is a fantastic choice. You want to make sure that you are being smart though about using the rage spells and you want to be able to start working your way in for the scattershot the archer queen and possibly also for the eagle artillery now as you continue to work your way around you want to be able to then go ahead and deal with the enemy cc but of course, creating the other side of the funnel is another very important thing. So you are able to start working your way in towards the single target Inferno and moving your way in for the Town Hall. Take a look at how the pathing gives you this direction right the way in for the Town Hall. That's how you want to consider those things. Sometimes if you bring three heal spells, you can use two early on so you keep your miners and hogs alive as you get closer to the town hall and using the Grand Warren ability. This is where that final stretch is where you've already been able to deal with a large part of the base and you have easy and predictable pathing going through the multi infernos. This is where having that royal champion is by far one of the strongest things and it's pretty much overkill if you think about it. If you have a lot of miners and the reinforcement hog riders, you may still have all of your heroes still up at mostly full health in, in a way. So it is something to be very, very careful of and to pay very close attention to. But as you can see, we have a ton of hog riders, a ton of miners, a ton of barbarians, and a ton of wizards with the queen still alive, giving you that understanding of how you can earn a three star with the use of the queen charge hybrid. Make sure to watch this video if you are a Town Hall 13 with lower level heroes or no royal champion, and make sure to also check out my previous video on the use of the Yeti Witch Attack strategy, and I'll catch you in the next video. Corrupt, signing out.